Good morning, folks. So here we are. It is the 23rd of November. We are in our last two days before our short Thanksgiving break. And so as we have finished up the transport methods for the cell, how the cell membrane moves things in and out of the cell, now we're going to move on to everything else. We talked about the cell wall. We talked about the cell membrane. Now we got to talk about all the other stuff that's inside. And I thought it is better for you to learn these things through your work than it is for me to simply sit here and talk about them. And so for today and tomorrow, I have organized a project that should be pretty quick for everybody to take care of and to do. It's got some basic requirements that are shared no matter which form of the project you choose to do. And this is what we're going to be working on for Monday and Tuesday this week with the goal of turning it in Tuesday afternoon before we have the Thanksgiving break. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And hopefully it'll make all the sense in the world. So taking a look, this is our ass. Let me try that again. Our cell organelle project. All right. And this is meant to be something that is creative. It's something that should give you some freedom to do a version of the project that you yourself are interested in. I'm not going to tell you what format to do. I'm going to give you some examples, but they are certainly not the only choices that are available. So this is a eukaryotic cell. Here are the listed organelles, many of which we've already gone over. They are also listed in our note slideshow. The purpose of this project, each person will be doing their own solo project. And it will be to create a project and you should choose five of the nine organelles to kind of showcase that you want to go over. For each one, your project, no matter what form it takes, you must, number one, describe the functions of the organelle. What does it do? What is its purpose in the cell? Why is it there? What is its job? Number two, give me a picture of the organelle. Each organelle, you will need to include a good picture of. Now, ideally, I would like you to generate these pictures yourself, meaning you draw, you create, whatever it is. That is the best way to do it. You will learn the most by doing it yourself. If you just copy and paste them off the internet, you're not going to remember them as well. Now, you'll note, it says, does not need to be textbook. And that's because, depending on the format you choose to do, it may not work to try to have a version of it that looks super realistic. And hopefully the examples will make it more clear. But, for example, if one person is doing a sales catalog, having a good detailed picture is probably a good thing. People want to know what they're going to buy. But if you're doing a comic book, well, then you might want to stylize it. The mitochondria may not look like a kidney bean with some squiggles on the inside. It might look like a big muscly guy or girl, or it might be something that's just emanating energy, you know, because the different formats can have different versions of the pictures. And then finally, number three, I want you to provide both of these in something creative, something intelligent. I do not want a poster project. Do not just send me a slide that says the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell with a picture. That's, that's not acceptable. You need to do this some way that you can connect with. Let me give you some examples. So first example is the standard. This is what we used to do before COVID when everybody was here in the classroom. The standard boilerplate that I would offer everybody is a cell catalog. 
where you are creating like a magazine sale catalog, trying to convince people to buy your sell pieces to replace their own sell pieces. So, you know, you're going to select what organelles you want to do. These are the five that I picked for this one. You're going to need to include a sales pitch. That will be the creative side of things. So for instance, this is like a page for a cell membrane, right? I got a nice, good picture of it that shows all the different bits and pieces. The name is up there in the upper right. Then down in the text, the cell membrane protects the cell from physical damage and controls what comes in and out. And then in the little bracket, the function. So there I highlighted for you where the function was. Now comes the sales pitch. Now comes the creative side, right? So I wanna look at what that cell membrane does and what can I give a creative twist to in order for it to make more sense? Well, I've got one hair sticking straight up off the top of my head. Missed. Uh, ah, later. Okay. So it's still there. All right. So anyway, um, now for the sales pitch, our cell membranes have been specially created with titanium micro threads that reinforce the defense of the membrane and will make you immune to minor cuts and damage. All right. So what I did there was I took what the cell membrane normally does and I kind of amped it up because my version is superior to your natural version. And I want to convince you what you can gain by buying my organelle. And then I include a price because it's a sales catalog. You have to include some kind of price, $10,000 US mm, money. So that's an example of the sell catalog. Now, maybe you would prefer you're more musically inclined. You want to do a song. I will give you bonus points even if you perform it and record it and send it to me or send me the link for it. Purpose. Create a song including the functions of the cell organelle. So once again, we select five of the nine organelles. And then you write some kind of a song to it. We'll actually be hearing this one coming up tomorrow. I'm going to play it as a little example. So once again, I'm not a music person, but some people might be. And if that's what you enjoy, by all means, do it. Work with it. Third example. Maybe you're more interested in a comic. Like you want to write a story with little pictures involved. Okay, we could do that. To create a comic where the cells are character or the characters are cells or organelles, maybe they're not the whole thing, and they explain or show their functions. So organelles selected, there's our list. And then you could do a couple different examples of it and how this might work. All right, there's a lot of flexibility here. So that is our goal using some format that you enjoy, create a project that presents five of the nine cell organelles, gives me a picture, and explains what they do. I want something that shows some creativity too. I've had people do things like, um, a couple of years ago, I had one person who went home and now, for those of you who are online, this would be so much easier. And they played Fortnite. And what they did was they took uh, screen captures throughout the match. And then they included text bubbles or speech bubbles for their character and then the other characters that they were fighting. And basically had them trash talking each other, but using organelle functions and the organelles themselves. Like one of them was... Bro, do your mitochondria even power? Like, it's dumb, but you know what? They put some effort into it, and they did it in a way that they enjoyed, which is great. I had one person one year create um, – hold on. Let me get an example.
All right. So what they did was they decided they wanted to create a CD and they wanted to create kind of like a music thing. So what they did was they created a little foldout for a fake band and they named all of the members of the band based on the organelles and they had the instrument that they play be related to the function of like the mitochondria was the electric guitar because electricity is like power, um, stuff like that. There's a lot of ideas that you can work with. And if any of you have an idea, I would say as long as it's school appropriate, go for it. Go for it. Five organelles tell me what they do, show me what they look like, either like a textbook version or a creatively derived version, and it'll be good. That, oh, I, sorry, I had you guys presented, but they did this. They created one of the booklets that goes into it, you know, and they talked about who all the different people in the band were and like what they did and stuff like that. Yeah. All right. Lots and lots and lots of choices. I had one person um, one year, this was years ago now, and I wish I still had a copy of it. Um, they filmed themselves dressed like Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, speaking in a bad Australian accent, creeping around their house, trying to find the organelles and constantly going crikey. So once again, have some fun with this. Come up with something that you will enjoy. Silly, bizarre, that's okay. We just want to go over five organelles, what they look like, and the job that they do, their function. I hope everyone has a great day, and I can't wait to see you in class.